Hey family, welcome to the 36 of our love of revolution. We thank God for his goodness and his mercy, half his brothers on this journey. Today I want to continue sharing about looking at the big picture, but I want to speak about fearless love is not self-seeking, but looks at the interests of others. Paul in 1 Corinthians 13 begins to give us some breakdown, some of the attributes and characteristics of somebody who works in fearless love. And he says that love is not self-seeking, but looks at the interests of others. When you tie this up with Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25, the writer of Hebrews says that we should look at ways to provoke each other unto love and to good works. So the loss is that in these end times, when you want to live in fearless love, fearless love is the kind of love that you live such a way that you provoke others to do the same thing. You provoke others to love and to good works. Like we learned earlier on, love is good works. So God is challenging us as we wrap up this week, as we look at Easter, we reflect on the love of God. Jesus told a story about the Good Samaritan, about how somebody left his busy schedule and then came back and took care of somebody who he didn't even know, who was not connected to in the first place. And then the, the Lord told the disciples that, that's what I mean by love your neighbor. If you understand what your neighbor is now, I want you to go back and do likewise. So I'm challenging you as we've gone through these 40 days of this journey, as we wrap up, I don't want to be just a couple of clips that we came to share with you, but I wanted to look at the things that you learned on this journey and then begin to live this life. And the whole purpose of this life is you want to provoke people to do what is good. Paul said in Hebrews chapter 10 that because as the day is drawing closer, so we are in times where if there is any time we, can, we have to live love, if there's any time we have to demonstrate the love of God and the goodness of God, this is the time. In the times when there's so much gloom and so much despair, the Lord is calling you and I to be the light, to provoke others, to do things out of the ordinary, to begin to exhibit His goodness and His mercy unto the nation. And through that, that we have to do, many lives will be transformed. And I'm praying that this you're going to take this very critically especially in this holy week and may the lord bless you and strengthen you. what's going to be your action plan your action plan is goes is so simple now go back and reflect on the things that you've learned about fearless love and tell yourself that i'm making a decision not just to be a hearer but i'm going to do this work to live a love life such that many who also want to give themselves unto the full cause of Christ. And as you I want to share with somebody, may the Lord bless me, Lord strengthen you. Father, I pray for your children as they listen, as they, as they reflect. I ask that you shall grant all of us grace, not to be just be hearers, O God, but as we reflect on this holy week, O God, the grace that was released on the apostle to live beyond themselves will be our portion. We thank and we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. And as you just share this video with somebody else, I'll come your way same time tomorrow. Bye-bye.